Basket and he drives one from long range and he's hit the top corner. It's a beauty for Daryl Fordyce. Smith on the run. Has Lang in front of him. Lang across. Problem. Score. Edmonton. Fordyce the goal. Butchko from the back side. We'll stay right on him. Polo gets no help from the hardware. We're even at one here early on. Absolutely phenomenal goal. Just a thrilling strike with the left foot. And this is just seconds after the pair the ball's carried out. Ball from Keegan, Fordyce. What a finish. It's a fantastic finish. Beautiful first touch right into his path. And a chance here on the left hand side. You get the cross back up to the far post. Danny OB does it down. And there's a wonderful back heel finish. Uh, both high with the cross. Danny OB with the knockdown. And then the ball going to Fordyce, who back heels it in goal. Now Edmonton has a ray of hope. They have still a good 18 minutes or so plus stoppage time. Nyasi delivers. Right footed in swinger. Headed towards goal. And it's 2 1. Just like that. A set piece goal for the Eddies. Now a chance for the Eddies, and oh, it's 2-2, just like that. Slipping in behind the defense. And then you see Bolokai pretty your perfect pass. Daryl Fordyce the great man. Here again, Bolokai taking on Jeroen again, who's not had the best game today for Ottawa, and then squaring it to Fordyce. And Lang, as we said, we can tell by the football lines, but 45 yards unopposed up that left side, and it's just too easy, and 30 seconds in. That deflection, totally wrong foot Fitzgerald, and makes it number four. Yeah, it began with an Albedali giveaway in the middle of the park, and again, just another unforced error by Clavity to Jalali, who just picks out the running Edward, and there's the half volley, and that's a great strike from 24 year old right back. Looks at his options. Ball is cut back. He knows he was sitting for it. Never had a chance at that ball. Now tries to track it down. Moffat is back there to help defend. Ball pushed in. Amiobi beats two defenders. Holes. Shoot. Saved by Maurer. Big rebound. And the go ahead goal for Fordyce. And really, he struggled to keep possession, but here is a giveaway by the 11 and a shot by Fordyce that finds the back of the net. And easy to see. We asked our person on the golf cart, can you just please stop here for a few minutes? We'll take this in and then we'll go on with our tour. So, an opportunity off oh, box and a goal. Daryl Fordyce, we have. As soon Daryl Fordyce netted a superb individual goal. Glenn's first. Jimmy McGovern's throw-in falling perfectly, although he was given space to turn and compose himself. Two minutes before the break, a supremely confident strike, individually stunning. The Vuvuzelas round Ballyskay sounding for a goal with all the panache of a World Cup strike. Yes, it was that good. 3-0 at half to Golly in the box. The penalty was then converted by Fordyce. And the transfer listed for Dice wasn't finished after that. He and Waterworth then joined forces in the 57th minute. 5-0 Glentoran. So, four goals on the score sheet? No, that wasn't enough. Daryl Fordyce wanted more. Golly provided the cross 12 yards out for his fifth. A day he'll never...
to have handled the ball in his own area. A penalty was awarded and Darrell Fordyce sent Blaney the wrong way with a well-taken penalty kick. This is good from Linfield. Fordyce is in the middle. Larry's at the back post. Fordyce! Two for him, two for Linfield. Darrell Fordyce steps forward, he hits the ball. What a strike from Fordyce. That's the fifth. Twice Linfield took the lead. Darrell Fordyce putting the visitors 2 1 up. This is Fordyce. On Fordyce, well, that's his first touch. And what a first touch that is. That's Burns. Back for Garrett. On fingertip away and home. By Fordyce. Has won it for Linfield. Linfield salvaged a draw one minute from time. Michael Carvel and Brian McCall, the suppliers, substitute Daryl for Dice with the finish.